Phil sent me this story from Reuters about the U.S. government not only spending millions on penis pumps, but being drastically overcharged for penis pumps, which really upsets me, Lewis. Penis pumps cost the U.S. government's Medicare program $172 million between 2006 and 2011, which is about twice as much as consumers would have paid at the retail lever level, according to a government watchdogs report. The report by the inspector general for the Department of Health and Human Services said that Medicare paid nearly 474,000 claims for vacuum erection systems, totaling $172 million. Yearly claims for the devices nearly doubled from 20 million in 2006 to 38 million in 2011. This is a medical, uh, uh, medically approved and valid treatment for erectile dysfunction. And if Medicare had adjusted its payments to approximately the price of non Medicare payers, the U.S. government could have saved $14 million for each of the six years. There's two conversations we need to have. But remember, Lewis, we talked about uh, Medicare spending something like a billion dollars on a $2,000 eye drop, uh, eye drug versus a $50 eye drug that are virtually the same. That's one area. Now we find out $14 million a year could be saved by not paying above retail for penis pumps. So there is a lot of waste in the American health health care and health insurance industry, which we know there's two quest questions. A couple of people uh, commented. I was looking on Twitter, commented about the story saying, why does Medicare pay for penis pumps? Well, uh, even if it sounds quirky, a penis pump, it is an approved treatment for a medical condition. There's absolutely no reason that because it is Medicare or for whatever reason that insur insurance wouldn't pay for it. That's not a solid criticism at all. So I dismiss that further. There's the assumption that penis pumps are just for older people because it's Medicare, which is also an incorrect assumption. Uh, people who suffer from, men suffer from erectile dysfunction. You could be young and have had uh, prostate cancer surgery, or you might be on ho hormone therapy. You might have had radiation treatment. There are almost literally any number of reasons why you might be suffering from ED. So the only criticism I can make of this, Lewis, is that it's yet another instance where uh, there is overpayment happening. That's my only gripe with this. That seems to be it. Uh, we know there's plenty of paying for things that are unnecessary. This is not one of those, but um, right. It's pretty much the same thing as paying two thousand dollars for an eye eye drug when you could pay fifty, and it's rampant. It's it's happening in almost every category. 